Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my review of the small size classic flap. I decided on the small size classic flap from the 21A collection, Mitsuda 2021, and I absolutely love it. I am head over heels with it. I am so glad I took the plunge. Yes, cost an arm and a leg, but I'm gonna stop apologizing for spending money from now on. I've had this bag for one month now, uh, and I'm also going to do a quick comparison at the end with my two other classics, mini rectangular, as well as my jumbo flap. Mine is pre-loved and it is single flap. You will be able to see a major size difference when I do my mod shots. Also why I prefer the small size over the jumbo. Um, I still love my minis, but there's just something about a classic flap. Here's a front view of my flap. This is the side view. I'm sure you guys know how the classic flop looks like. Since my collection, the 21A, they've started doing the uh, plaques instead of the authenticity card. It basically replaces your old authenticity card system. You will no longer have that in a proper handbag. They still do it for the small leather goods. Not sure when they're gonna switch over those ones too, but for all your handbags going forward, it will all be using that microchip. I don't even know what they call it, but basically it's not blockchain. The only information you're going to be able to see when, well not you, but when Chanel scans it is they are going to be able to tell when this bag was made, the material, etc. So information about the bag and its authenticity. So it cannot be replicated or it's so much harder for counterfeiters to replicate that system because even if they make the bag look really good, um, there is no way that you can bring this bag to Chanel and ask for repairs because the moment they scan it, they'll know that it's a counterfeit. But it's not blockchain, so they don't do anything special to register any new information. I don't know if it's still the same system, to be honest, as before, but basically now you get five year warranty on your bags because they know when this, these bags are made they can sort of tell when it's being sold so they will know the age of the bag. Like I said, I've only had this bag for the past month, but I really enjoy using it. There's something about the shape being different uh, that it's physically longer than this bag. So you are able to fit different shape items in here. Even though it does have a double flap, it doesn't bother me per se. I mean, I definitely notice it, but the fact that it's a shoulder length bag, it's a proper shoulder length, so it sits up higher that makes it so much easier to get in and out of it. There's just something about its ergonomics and just the overall really thought out length, uh, size of the bag, and even the interior. Oh, actually, I have to talk about the compartments on the interior. That really makes me fall in love with using a classic flap versus just a single compartment bag. And don't get me wrong, I've been loving these bags for so long. They are not going anywhere, but there's just something about the classic flap configuration that just makes a ton of sense. I'm sure you've heard about it a ton, but in case you haven't, there's the compartment behind the flap. It's very tiny and it's short. It basically only fits, I don't know, maybe like a very thin stylus. That sort of thing would be actually quite handy right here. Everything is leather lined, by the way. There's also a secret compartment right here, right in here. It's very thin and I don't want to always stretch it out, but it's there and I have used it once because I wanted to keep some money secret. Inside you have your lipstick compartment and the card slot compartment which I do make use of. Surprisingly the compartment aside from the middle compartment that I use the most and that I absolutely love is the front compartment. This one right here. This one is such a handy little place to put the credit card that I'm using right now or to put receipts that I get from the cash register and just quickly get out of the door because like instead of having to reorganize it in the middle compartment, I just slip it in front and know where it is. Anything that you still want to keep safe and easy access, but it takes a step further to get it versus right here in the back. Honestly, most favorite compartment is this one right here because it's like hidden, it's secure. I get it now, like I get the hype. I get how they are able to charge you this price and everyone is still buying it. I get all of that now. <laughs> Another main, 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 main feature of the classic flap is that it has four grommets. I honestly prefer the shoulder length and that's my preferred way of wearing this bag. 
But I also like the fact that sometimes when I'm just tired, I don't want my bag to be swinging around. I just want to hold it by hand. I will do this or I'll just do a very short shoulder bag look. So let's talk sizing. Why do I now know that I like and prefer the small size? I'm originally uh, much more comfortable with mini size bags to begin with. So this is kind of the closest to another mini, but it actually is slightly more comfortable and it's the classic. But between this size and the jumbo, which, you know, the jumbo is such a great bag. It's so 90s, it's so sort of like cool when you wear it, it's oversized, it gives you that other casual look that, you know, it's, this is sort of like dainty and even the color is more feminine in a sense. Uh, this is just grungy and cool. Even though I have thought about parting with the classic jumbo many, many times, I just couldn't do it because it's still, at the end of the day, a classic. And I know fashion is cyclical, so the larger bags are still relevant. Maybe just not as hot anymore. But yeah, I'm sure you can just tell by the size. And even though this is a single flap, it feels so much heavier already. And just, maybe it's just the size because the single flap is already lighter, but it just feels so much heavier on my hands just holding the two. I just can feel like the chain of this, it's so much thicker and just weighty that I just find this to be extra comfortable, fits everything I need and looks exactly the way I want it to and has the sort of functionality or ergonomics of what I explained earlier, which I find is lacking on this size bag which is why I don't prefer it, even though this is such an amazing find at the time. Like I said, I got this pre-loved. And speaking of, I have to show you guys the Samorga that I have for this. Thank you so much to Samorga again for sponsoring this part of the video. So I got this Samorga organizer for my jumbo. That's before I knew that I was gonna get the small size. I had no idea I was gonna end up with a small size. So I'll need to order one for the small classic flap as well. What I love about the organizers is that they are custom size to your bags because they purchase themselves the bags to make these organizers to fit to the T. I've mentioned several times now that I usually prefer their thinner felt for most of my handbags unless I need the structure. So for my Chanel 19, I still prefer the classic two millimeter felt, but for the rest, I like their 1.2 millimeter felt because they weigh nothing. They are so beautifully made. It still keeps its shape, but it's very lightweight. And of course, um, it will also take less space inside your bags, which, you know, with a classic flap, they are already so structured anyway. The front size is the longer size. By the way, I did ask for this organizer to be pocket free. I just wanted to keep my jumbo size flap bag which is a single flap to be sort of one large compartment. Fits perfectly inside. And it just protects the lining, especially for a pre-love bag. But also my new bag is such a light color that I want to just get one because I want to just protect the inside of my bag from accidental spills. Of course, right now I don't mind using it as is. But over the long term, I'm talking about, you know, the fact that these are forever bags, right? I want to just have the chance to preserve or prevent any accidents in the future or if I travel with the bag. I'm gonna link their classic flap organizers down below. You can also use my coupon code AMY20 to save 20% at checkout. So I've told you a lot of pros about the classic flap and how much I appreciate it now that I have one in my life, but there are some cons and I think the most obvious one is pricing. It's no secret that these have been going up in prices so quickly. In the past 10 years, it has doubled in price. If you've been noticing the market of vintage and pre-love, they are also catching up, meaning that they also know that it's such a lucrative commodity, <laughs> these classic flaps and Chanel bags in general that even vintage items, even pre-loved items are selling a lot often with a premium and it's economics for you, supply and demand, which is why even though the price is a con, retail price, I still am able to justify it because think long term, right? Like if you're not buying to sell often, then it's worth the investment because if you were to buy it later, it will just go up in price anyway and you would end up spending more money. So that's why 
when it's the right time, meaning when you save enough, and when it's the perfect combo, meaning your unicorn, then it is a sign that you should probably get it. For me, the brand new experience is important to me. I like my bags to start from me being the root. I'm seeing a ton of the vintage lambskin Chanel's, uh, some of them prior to 1986, which have no authenticity cards and numbers. In a really pristine condition, they are beautiful. I say if you can find those in pristine condition, go for it. Of course, do your due diligence. Make sure you authenticate and re-authenticate. But otherwise, if you're not into vintage or if vintage is not even readily available, like here, I don't see a ton of vintage that I like or pre-love that I like. There's They usually don't look good to me. Uh, the small flap is is getting a lot more popular now, but it hasn't been always. Uh, it was always the medium, and before that it was always the jumbo that was the most popular. So roughly speaking, uh, the length is 23 centimeters. The height is about 14, and the strap drop, when you double it up, is just about 9.5 inch or 24 centimeters. Shoulder length, and this is about 43.5 centimeters or about 17 inches. So yeah, 17 inches is usually not a very good crossbody length, but if you're petite, you can sort of do it, you know, like for me, it just actually it hits me quite good, like just on my rib cage type of thing. See where my jeans starts, it just hits me right there. So on me, it's fine. If you're petite, it's okay. But I would say in general, a good crossbody length is at least 20, 20 inches. Cause Okay, so the bag is packed full of things, but it's not bulging in any weird way. It's just really, really packed. Right when we open up the bag, I mentioned the front compartment being super handy. So right here I have some money, I have a receipt. It's easy to access, which is what I love about it. Okay, looking inside the bag, it's packed full of things. It's still really easily closed, but I wouldn't pack any more than that. Of course, um, I can maybe squeeze in my sunglasses, but that's all I would do. I wouldn't do much, much more than that. So I have a bottle of hand sanitizer on the top. I have my card holder right here. Six key holder that is sitting upright. I also have car keys. And then lipstick from Hermes. And finally, I have two large size phones. You would not be able to fit all of that in the mini size, all these things. I can try to squeeze all this in, but I doubt that it will actually fit all of it because it just isn't as spacious. It's really good, but it's just a tad less than the classic flop because see, it's already filling up um, I can still close it, but 
you know, because I have to stand up the SLG, um, it's already making the flap a little wonky. But, you know, it does fit. It's just that this bag is already taller than this, so standing up on this um, on the small flap is no problem, whereas on this one is a little tighter squeeze. Money, let's say in the back pocket right here. You can do the receipt here in the back pocket. And I will need my car keys, I guess. So all that can fit, and then the lipstick. So if I were to like really pack it with everything, let's see if it will close. Almost, but it wouldn't close. It it just wouldn't. So technically it looks like it would fit, but you will probably have to leave out at least the hand sanitizer. And then it will close. But like I said, the flap now is a little bit off center. It's not quite as uh, it's higher on this side, lower on this side because of the six key holder sitting up. So yes, it fits a lot and it's similar amount but not quite the exact same amount. It's much much more comfortable on the classic flap small and because of the height and the length of the bag, it really does accommodate things a bit easier in this size bag. Of course, it's a no-brainer that the jumbo size flap will fit everything but just for Visual reference, you literally just have to throw it in because it's a no-brainer type of situation. It's so large, it won't be a problem at all. There's a ton of space in here. I'm not even organizing anything. So this is how it looks like. There's still a ton of space and obviously you can close it. So that's the big difference, obviously. The jumbo is called the jumbo for a reason. Uh, tons of space inside, especially the single flop. But on a day-to-day -day basis, for me, the most perfect size bag is the small flap because it fits just enough and everything fits comfortably. And I feel like it's easy access. Everything is lined up properly. In the jumbo flap, things get shuffled a bit because it's so big. Are you convinced that this is now sort of worth it or still not really because it's totally fine either way because like I said, I am a big proponent of minis. I think they are still worth the money. They're getting more expensive, but it is what it is. If you're after your first Chanel bag and your budget is not at this level, then I say go for the mini because you cannot go wrong with a mini. It's, it's literally the most versatile bag. It dresses up so well and dresses down so well. But if you've been saving for a long time and if you have your heart set on a classic flap, let me know if you would go for the small now or if you would still go for the medium because I know the medium is still the most popular size and it still looks and feels more of a proper bag because like I said, even though this one does fit a bit more, it still just only fits an extra item or two so the medium you're kind of getting the best of both worlds those of you who own the jumbo let me know if you've been wearing it often or have you been wearing it less and less how many of you have thought about letting it go perhaps and have you done it did you just let it go and said goodbye to it or if you did and regretted it let's start a discussion in the comment section because i know a lot of people are still having this dilemma because they've bought the jumbo many many years ago especially when the jumbo size was basically the hottest size and it was also the best value for a few hundred dollars uh, at the price at the time on top of that you get a much larger bag so you get so much more bag for it but now that it's more about micro trends, nano trends, and even mini trends. These jumbo bags are getting even less and less worn. Also, those of you who own the more classic size, the medium large, do you still like your medium large or do you wish that you went with the small? Or have you even ever tried the small? And what do you think of the small actually? Because I'm a big, big fan of the small because if it's everything I need, this is just kind of an upgrade of the minis basically <laughs> and also happens to be a unicorn. By the way, I do prefer caviar myself. So yeah, do you guys prefer yours to be in caviar? Because I know a lot of you also love lambskin and swear by lambskin. I honestly still feel a bit nervous about 
the classic flap in lambskin because it's still a shoulder bag. I want to be a bit carefree with it, especially knowing how much I love wearing it. The fact that this is a light color just makes me so much happier and so much more at ease that it's in caviar. I have found it to be very durable so far, so no problems in that front. So yeah, let me know what you think. And of course, if you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I would love to have you back. Please do consider subscribing and like this video if you've enjoyed it, everyone. I really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!